For all my visually impaired friends, the video will start at a minute, minute five. So if you want to fast forward to that, I'm going to be speaking. What a hungry guy Noah was. Oh my goodness. Now look at him. He is so cute. Again, this is an outfit that I really, really like. It's vintage Carter's Delayette set. I believe I got it for last Christmas from Jackie. Um, super cute. And I believe she found it on um, Poshmark. I want to say she found it on Posh because she was selling a lot of things on Posh at that time. But we are going to put him into another gown. So I thought I would record him after I give him his bottle. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I can't believe how cute he is. Um, I don't know. I always amaze myself. I always just... I'm impressed with the things I do. Like, I don't think my work sometimes looks realistic, but it, it's always fooling me. I think that every artist goes through this. They're like, oh my God, it's not realistic and in your own mind. But anyways, it's just one of those things of being an artist. It's a struggle. Um, but I, I love him. I love him. I, I think all of my dolls look realistic, but it's just something when I have like my own personal doll in my collection, I'm like, I don't know, does it really look real? <laughs> but if I think about it, I've always been that way with my collection. Does it look real when I position it this way? But anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video. I'm glad I made it last night because today has been a whole new chaos, which you guys are going to enjoy here in just a moment. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video part with uh, Noah and we're feeding him, but we're back to real life now. We, today, I noticed the garbage disposal was leaking water out of the freaking bottom of it. Right here, right there, water was pouring out of it all right there. So, I'm here getting us a garbage disposal. They are freaking expensive expensive but um so this is what we're gonna put into our video today i'm gonna show you guys uh, me working hard and that's not working on reborns that's working on sinks all right y'all we're home okay so we're gonna change the disposal i've already taken it out yeah i do know how to do this um i'm gonna answer that question right now for you guys I do know how to do this, and I had to do a lot of stuff, actually. Um, a lot of construction stuff. I should have, my parents always said I should have been born a boy, but I wasn't. <laughs> I was born a girl. Anywho, so yeah, everybody should know how to do this. It's actually pretty freaking simple. Don't be afraid of the, um, the situation. I know... It seems like it's scary, but it's not. It's, this is actually easier than making a reborn doll, if you want my opinion about it. It's pretty simple. So, um, this morning I came to get something out of the sink. Lo and behold, water was pouring out of the bottom. So it was officially broken. Um, when you got water coming out the bottom, you can't fix that problem. Except buying a new garbage disposal is the only way you can fix that problem. This is just so gross, okay? It's just so... This was about to happen. We've had issues with That's it. the only thing with changing this stuff. It's just <laughs> gross. Yeah, uh, these go out, so, you know. Everybody that owns a home should know how to do this. We don't own a home, but yeah. So I know how to do a lot of this stuff because um, 
Not because I should have been born a boy. Okay. But because my dad is a, um, my dad's a tile contractor. So, um, my dad's a, con a contractor, basically. He started out first as a tile contractor. Um, so he is a, um, he's a fully licensed construction man. Um, I will say he is good at his job. I'm not going to lie. But I do know he's ripped some people off, too. So ain't going to lie about that part. All right, here's our new machine. New machine. Okay, so because I already have like the top apparatus already up there, so basically, like this part goes in your sink, right? Like if you want to take it all apart, and then right here is where the garbage disposal goes. So you're like literally, Excuse me. you take this, and you're gonna just twist it on there, basically. See, the machine and everything, it's all set up. Like we just have to connect it up here which that gets to be I mean that gets to be the most challenging part I guess mm -hmm. taking it off putting it back on it's never any fun because this stuff is you know it weighs a little bit I don't know not as much as a bag of potatoes but it does weigh a little bit all right so let's see are you gonna go on so easily for me all right it's on there okay so now that it's on here, we're gonna tighten it. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys closer. Okay, so you see these things right here, right? This is when you can take your screwdriver and tighten it. You just put your screwdriver in there and you push this as much as you can because that's your tightening of it. So right there, you're just gonna push that. If you can get it all the way over here, that's ideal. So I'm gonna get off the phone and push it over. All right, like so. So um, this we have a pipe that has to go here, just a hose. This is for the um, like the kickback of water from your dishwasher. So then I'm gonna be tightening that up there. And then of course I have to rebuild my plumbing system, which is not a problem. I took it apart. It's really easy to put back together. All right, so as you guys remember, I took this pipe off of here, right? So we've got to get this pipe back on there, um, put its pieces back on here, took them off as, putting them back on as they came off. Okay, so, uh, there. then what we're going to do here is you have two bolts, you got to screw them in. All right, we got that part. Now we gotta build our drain. We gotta reconstruct our drain. Uh, it's best to always put this on first. Well, y'all know how accidents happen. Nobody's perfect. Um, after I installed the garbage disposal, I realized I bought the freaking garbage disposal where you have to put in your own power plug. Oh dear God, why me? Last time I bought one of these, it was already on there. So we had to run back to Home Depot after I took it all apart, for, after I just put it together to get the power cord. So now I'm gonna show you guys the power cord and then we're gonna show you it all working. Okay, so we got the two cords in the bottom where your power cord should be. Um, it's easy to install kit. I swear. All right, all right. I just did one of these for the washing, the dryer when we bought that. What is up with things not coming with power cords anymore? Okay, that's what I'm wondering. And he said I could buy one with a power cord, but you know the next price was like $200. I'm not gonna pay $200 for it to be installed when this is only $15. I don't think so. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like you can return it. I'm like, what? Uh, no, the last one I saw was like 200 bucks. I mean, if that's to have the power cord included, I'll do it myself! I'll do it myself! Okay, so we have to get all in here. And you're going to unscrew this back here because that's what's going to make that 
latch in here. This goes in Ooh, here. Look at you, Stephanie. I know. My handy woman. Because <laughs> I would be like, I need help. <laughs> I need help. I need somebody. Not just anybody. Help. Oh, we got that doohickey in, which it spins in. So we're going to take our power, right? Feed that baby through here. Then you're going to grab your wires. <clears throat> Come here, green wire. Really? This way. Don't be doing me like this. Green wire, the green wire is going where it shouldn't be. Snaking down to the bottom. Okay, here we are. Let's make you over here, man. Um, grab it with these scissors. It's like, there we go. All right. All right, so... Got our power cord, you know. Here we are, here we are, here we are. This is where it gets difficult. This is where it gets a little crazy. So the green's gonna go to the green screw, right? And then our black and white is just gonna go to that because it's not really color specific. If they were black and if they were white, the white would go with the white and the black would go with the black. If not, you are going to run into some sewer some surreal complications. Electrical is something you don't want to mix your colors up with. I'm sorry. Everywhere else in the world it is okay. But here we do not mix colors. Colors are very key when it comes to electrical. Yellow to yellow, red to red, white to white, green to green. So we are put that there. Get that all down. Bam! Bam! There we go. Got our source connected. Then we need these other little doohickeys. Here we are, here we are. Tonight is the night. So right there, we're just gonna take our two cables, you connect them together, right? Like so. Put that in there. Put that in there. Don't play with me like this. Do not play with me. You've already been playing with me this entire time. I put you together once <laughs> to find out we just needed, um, to find out we need a power cord and I'm not happy about that. So there we go. Put that on there. It's all nice in there. Those wires ain't gonna hurt nobody. They ain't gonna hurt nobody now. If you leave them undone, that's quite the problem. The point is to not leave your wires single. Wires don't like to be single. Only every now and then, like that green wire, it's because he's a, he's a jerk. He prefers to live life on alone. All right, in we go. Get in there, damn it. Quit messing with me. All right, well, we're going to do this way, just like we did your brother. Oh, yes, it's there. Okay. See? In there. Bam. And twist. And twist. And twist. And twist. Ah! Ah. All right. Then you put those babies back in there. Um, these screws have to be tightened. There's a little metal panel that's going to go right back on there. I'm going to put that back on there. And we're going to get this baby back together. We're back together. We're ready for water. Slightly nervous about this. I hate this part, but let's just... Hope it's all together, right? We have no issues. I got no leaking water. All right, now it's time to turn the garbage disposal on. Let's see if we have leaking water. That's a wrap, guys new garbage disposal sweet let me tell you how mine broke i did a tiktok challenge put a bunch of ice in there to clean it out busted that i'm pretty sure that's how that broke so don't do that <laughs> my dad would be laughing at me right now he'd be like you're smarter than that stephanie you're smarter than that i raised you in this industry i'm like i know i know i fell to a victim of tiktok 
Well, Noah hopes you enjoyed that video. He says, if you didn't like the garbage part, I hope you enjoyed my changing part. <laughs> yeah, so I thought I would share um, a bit of real life. You know, I typically live my life in a very realistic way. It's not with all the dolls and painting all the time. I just happen to have a lot that takes place in my life. As you see, the garbage disposal decided to randomly crap out. Um, so, yeah, that was uh, quite an adventure. It always is when it comes to stuff like that. So remember to stay safe, stay positive. Don't give in to those negative winches. We know who you all are. Gosh. And you keep adding to the list. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I just put two more winches on that list. Go check out my Instagram. I got a great post. Uh, anyways, about some past friends that some of you might didn't just need an update on. So head on over there. Check out my Instagram. If you're not following me, it's in love with reborns 2011, but add an extra one. Because Instagram took away my verified account when I was sharing all the information um, against the elites and the child trafficking, which is true. That's why they canceled my account. When you speak the truth, they cancel you. Ah! Anyway, so go follow my account. Also, follow my TikTok. I share a lot there. It is the same name as my YouTube name. All right, guys. See you all later. And we'll see you winches later, too. Bye.